God lives and works today, and one of our greatest debts to Him is that He lets His light shine into our lives and reveals our sin. This unmasking is difficult and painful, but it means healing in the very deepest way. His light is our final happiness and freedom. It brings us eternal happiness and joy. Listen to today's meditation by Vasilya Schlink called A Holy Uncertainty. I can't thank the Lord enough for the way He has dealt with me in my life. He has opposed everything I did that was not absolutely for Him, especially those activities done in Christian service. For there is nothing more dreadful to the Lord than hypocrisy when we convince ourselves that we have served the Lord and lived for Him and in truth have only lived for our own ambition and satisfaction. What can keep us from such self-deception? Only a holy uncertainty. Those who are uncertain about their motives continually pray, Lord Jesus, give me your light. Time and again we deceive ourselves. What are the hidden motives in our lives? Are they pure and honest? Do I really want Jesus to be glorified before many? Am I only concerned that he be honored? Rosy Lord of life from sleeping, prayer is never unavailing. Step my lukewarm soul awake. From grasping death's cold clutches free me, melt my frigid heart to make me more my sin. A joy that I am saved. In Matthew seven twenty two and 23, we read, On that day many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. How terrifying it would be to hear Jesus say these words to us. But on the other hand, what would it mean one day to hear Jesus declare, I do know you. You were pure in your motives. You were really concerned about me. It didn't matter to you whether you were humiliated or whether things went wrong. It didn't matter that your job wasn't satisfying. You didn't want to be loved and to be always the center of attention. You were only concerned that I be glorified. And Jesus will be glorified through those who have humble, broken hearts who don't want to be important. We need a holy uncertainty. Oh, that we might cry to the Lord, Give me your light. Help me to see the truth. Let me recognize now, before it's too late, what is impure in my heart, which motives aren't directed towards you. Lord Jesus Christ, you are a mighty Redeemer, you have shed your blood for my redemption. I know that I am thoroughly corrupted by sin, but I also know that you will hear the cries of anyone who is uncertain, who calls upon you for help because he wants to be at your side for all eternity. Give me your light and do not let it spare me. Show me my sin and to repentance grant me, then I'll be free. You have been listening to a program written by Basileia Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you.